Welcome to Mathematics Learning Solution. Fractions can also be written in their decimal form. As you see here, 3 fifths is same as 0 0.6 or a quarter or 1 fourth is same as 0 0.25. In this video, we will learn how to convert fractions to decimals. To convert any fraction into its decimal form, we must first rewrite the fraction so that the denominator or the bottom number is a power of 10, which means we must try to convert the denominator into either a 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. Let's say we need to convert this fraction 3 over 5 into its decimal form. Now to rewrite this fraction so that the denominator is a power of 10, we need to multiply the denominator by 2. And if we multiply the denominator of a fraction with a number, we must also multiply the numerator by the same number. When we multiply the numerator and the denominator of the fraction by 2, we get an equivalent fraction of 3 over 5, which is same as 6 over 10. Now we know that when we divide by 10, we move the decimal point one place to the left, which gives us 0 0.6, which is the decimal form of the fraction 3 over 5. In this example, in order to rewrite the fraction so that the denominator is a power of 10, we need to multiply the denominator by 4 so that we get 100 in the denominator. And since we are multiplying the denominator by 4, we also need to multiply the numerator by 4. And when we do that, we get an equivalent fraction of 7 over 25, which is same as 28 over 100. Since we are dividing by 100, we move the decimal point 2 place to the left. And in doing so, we get 0.28 as the decimal form of 7 over 25. To make the denominator as a power of 10 in this example, we need to multiply 40 with 25. Multiplying the fraction by 25, we get 75 over 1000. Since we are dividing by 1000, we move the decimal point 3 places to the left and fill the empty placeholder with a 0. So we get 0.075 as the decimal form of the fraction 3 over 40. So in order to convert any fraction into its decimal form, we rewrite the fraction by multiplying so that the denominator is a power of 10. And once we rewrite the fraction with the denominator as a power of 10, all we need to do is move the decimal point accordingly. And in doing so, we get the required decimal form of the fraction. I hope you enjoyed learning from this video. Thank you for watching. More videos will come.